Oh, well, clean up. He's not happy. Oh, he will be when he finds out why. You sit down, love. I don't understand why shadow has been nicking your letters. Who knows what goes on in that diseased mind? I keep thinking there is something in them he doesn't want me to see. Like what? Well, Shadrack thinks he's going to get his marching orders from someone. You mean my dad? Do you reckon he's coming up? Maybe so. Right. There had better be a good reason for getting me up. Shh! <clears throat> what? Look, be quiet, listen and sit down. Shadrack has been intercepting your dad's letters from Chile. Right. Time for the first kicking of the day. Right, cool, cool your boots. We've got everything under control. Me, Marlon and Sam have got a plan. Oh, yeah, I should have guessed. I'm off to put stage one into action now. <laughs> See you later. Godspeed, Sam. Oh, and if I'm not back... Yes, Sam, love. Save me some breakfast <laughs> and that. <laughs> right, <clears throat> stage two. This is where you come in, Kane. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, no, Kane, Kane. We need you to be a tad cerebral. Can you manage that? I will manage to snap you in two if you don't get on with it. Oh, dear. Oh. I never thought about the early start when I agreed to look after this place. Yeah, on reflection, that celebratory bottle of brandy oh. was not a good idea. I feel awful. Maybe I've got what your dad's got. You got hangover. Mm. Listen, we'll be fine by lunchtime. I mean, how hard can it be? We do a few bookings, we do a few checkouts, and we smile at the guests. What about breakfast? Well, I'm on reception. Oh, no, no. Don't make me face that kitchen. Now, come along, Shelley. You can manage. Oh. Chop, chop. Sadly, sausages don't cook themselves. Mmm. What? Stop! Stop! Watch it! You nearly had me off. Sorry, but I, I'm on a mission. What mission? Um, I, I could tell you, but Alicia would kill me. Let's just say it, it's dead important that you deliver this. Well, this is addressed to your house. You don't usually have to post things to where you actually live. Look, just do it, will you? Yeah, yeah, all right. Whatever you say. Ta. Deal. I just spent the night with Robert. <laughs> you and I obviously have different ideas about what is a big deal. Um, he's my boyfriend. Really? Yeah, and we're having an adult relationship. You're giving Robert exactly what he wants. No wonder he sticks around. It's not like that. Wake up. Yeah, well, chill out and you'll have more luck. Oh, I'd rather not. Kids, eh? All some drama going on with him. Oh, tell me about it. I live with two of them. <laughs> Mind you, the drama's half the fun. <laughs> oh, yes. And are you feeling dramatic? Oh, not this again. Not that a certain Mrs. Birch has given over to much in the way of histrionics. Look, I've told you, I've got better things to worry about, like Ollie's 18th and Scott's garage. Yeah, they're all other people's problems. I'm talking about you. I don't have a problem. I quite like being on my own. Ah. You see, I never said out about being on your own, but it's obviously on your mind. Well, it's in the air, what with Ollie talking about going to university. Yeah, all the more reason to broaden your horizons. I mean, look for some companionship. Well, I've never done that since my island passed on an earth. Look at that. Ask and thou shalt receive. Who do you think you are, the Archbishop of Canterbury? I just think we should be more sociable with newcomers to the village. She's not my type. Oh, no, she don't wear a silly hat and look like she's sucking a lemon. Hey. Come on. Just say hello. Oh, if it'll shut you up. It's Pearl, isn't it? That's right. Uh, my friend, we're wondering whether you care to join us. Oh. I'll take that. Help yourself. You usually do. Blood and sand. What's your problem? Can you keep a secret? Ah, if needs be. Zach's on his way home. Oh, good news. Not for me, he's after me blood. I know there's lots of possibilities, but why? Some swine went and told him I was trying to get it on with Lee's. And have you been? Well, no, not really. 
If I was you, I'd disappear. My dad's known for acting first, asking questions later. Where will I go? Far away as possible. So, you give us a month to deliver and the usual penalties apply? Uh, they do, yeah. Great, I'm looking forward to the paperwork. Well, I never really look forward to the paperwork, but you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> How are things at all? Any, uh, any improvements there? Oh, things are definitely looking up. In fact, I'm expecting news any moment now. Lacey, it is taken the bait. I can see you're busy. Listen, you've got my business card. Give us a ring any time. I'll leave you to it. Bye. He read the letter and Kane told him to run away, so he's packing. Oh, I don't believe it. The evil little worm is fell for it, hook, line and sinker. I wish my dad really were coming back, though. Well, maybe he is. There's only one way to find out. What's that? Stage three of my plan. What's that? The rescue and recovery of my letters, every one of them. Yeah? And what then? We will deal with Shadrach in the old-fashioned way. Eh? Hey? Come on, we don't want him to do a runner. Right. OK. Now, let's see if I've got this straight. You want fresh towels, you want directions into Hotton, and you were complaining. <laughs> I can't for the life of me remember what it was about. You, actually. I see. What's your problem? The noise that you and your friend made last night was totally unacceptable. Drunken shouting, cackling like witches and the singing. I see. Out of tune, were we? Well, we're taking requests later, if, uh, if that's any help. I want to speak to the manager. You already are. Oh, oh, well. Now, hang on a minute. I am doing the very best I can, but I am on my own. Well, so is the lady serving breakfast, but she seemed to manage admirably. Really? Uh, excuse me a moment. Shadra! No! Have you heard the news? Don't do that. What news? He's back. Uncle Zach, got back to the village this morning. Said he's come back to sort something out. Oh, he didn't say who he's going to sort, did he? No, but you can ask him for yourself if you like. Uh, actually, I I've got a train to catch. I'm off to our chastities. Uh, tell him I'll see him later. Don't be so daft. He'll be looking forward to seeing you. Won't want to let him down now, would you? Suppose not. Comfortable, are we? Yes, thank you. That's really good coffee. I thought you were meant to be serving breakfast. What do you think this is? Motorway services? It's continental, isn't it? It's slacking off, in my opinion. I've had no complaints. Everything is running smoothly. Oh. <laughs> like clockwork. In that case, you can come through and help me in there. I don't think so. You were quite specific about my duties. Do I have to spend my entire holiday waiting for you to deign to speak with me? She was just on her way, weren't you? Chop, chop. Before you say anything, Zach, I... What's going on for you, does Zach, we home. Whatever gave you that idea? Well, he said and there was a letter. A letter? <laughs> I know this looks bad, but... Shadrach! You stand accused of deceiving the Dingle clan. Attempted adultery with your brother's woman. Postal fraud and generally just being a disgusting old git. <laughs> oh, no. Not this. Come on, anything but this. I call the Dingle court to order. Sit down. Now, you know the score. Marlon will be the prosecution. Sam will be the defence. Sam, he couldn't defend the sandcastle. At least let Bell have a shot. Hey! The defence rests. I demand a fair trial. Well, we've all heard the charges, I say. We'll put it straight to the family vault. You've got no evidence. Ken, if you wouldn't mind. Get off. Uh, uh. 
Oh, this stinks. Looks like case Ooh. closed. At least I saved him. I, I want that taken into consideration. I could have earned him. Duly noted. Shall we vote? Debbie. She's not a dinkle. She damn well is. Don't you say otherwise. Go ahead. I say guilty. 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 Guilty as sin. Oh, please, Lisa. I did it for the best you'll see. Guilty! And you know the punishment. Consider yourself banished forever from Dingle Society. Don't try foisting yourself on some unsuspecting branch of the family. We'll be putting the word about. But what about me legs? I, I'm not a well man. To a job well done, lads. Yeah, and I hope his legs do go for real. I. <laughs> I don't care what happens to the old girl as long as I never see him again. So is that it then? He's gone for good. That's what happens when you go against the family. What? So he can never come back? Nope. <laughs> well, you did, and my dad banished you once. Mm. Well, that was a. It was more of a miscarriage of justice. I mean, Shadrach's banged to rights, isn't he, Lisa? Lisa. Nothing. You what? Not a flipping word. Is it not good news? Well, there isn't any news. I mean, he's burbling on about himself as usual, but I don't want to hear about burrow rides or, or rum drinking competitions. What about the treasure? Oh, he always thinks he's on the trail of that. Well, it must mean he's on his way home, then. Well, your guess is as good as mine. He doesn't even mention home. Poor me. I do hope you're comfortable. Scared the cream cheese out of me. Is there any way to treat a poor wreck seeking sanctuary? Sanctuary? Well, what exactly are you hiding from? My family. They've turned against me, all of them. Can't imagine why. Well, I may have overstepped the mark. How exactly? Well, she took exception to me redirecting a post. I don't understand. Well, I wouldn't mind if Isaac had anything of comfort to say to her. Wait. You stole Lisa's letters from Zach? No, I wouldn't say stole. More it. With our Zach gone, there were a gap there. I tried to fill that gap. A woman like that shouldn't be alone. I think you should leave now. That's not very Christian. What about forgiveness? It's not my forgiveness that you need. If I were you, I'd throw yourself on the mercy of Lisa. Well, I'm one potential member of your flock you've lost. I'm sure the Church of England will survive. what the going rate is for cleaners these days. No, I don't want a job. No, I'm hiring, not for hire. It's just I've got a, um, <clears throat> a situation. How much? God, at least Dick Turpin wore a mask. Look, love, I thought you might do me a deal, you know, seeing as... Well, if that's your attitude... Busy morning. What are you doing out of bed? Are you feeling better? No, not really. Now, have you done everything? Yeah, of course. Bedrooms, bathrooms, ordered the plants, ordered the newspapers, yeah. cleaned the kids in. Yeah, yeah, I've done all that. I tell you what, it's begging here at breakfast. Right, old bum fight. Of course, Shelley's about as much use as a comb on a bald head. You have overcome these overwhelming odds? I mean... Of course. I had a brainwave. 
Oh, dear. Why do I feel a relapse coming on? <laughs> Continental breakfast buffet. Beg your pardon? Well, all the posh hotels do it now. You know, you brew up a bit of coffee and you let them help themselves. What do you think? Who's your idea? Yeah, came up with it all on my own. I tell you, Dad, I've got some great ideas for this place. There. That's the last of the bedrooms done. Go for a drink now, please. I think you deserve one. I think I deserve more than one. <laughs> I tell you what, Dad, you should be ill more often. Makes you ever such a good listener. Yeah, incapacity does that for you. Come on, girl. <laughs> You must have got a job with Interflora, because I can't think of any other reason why you would dare to set your foot in this house again. I've been to church. I've seen the light. You'll see the toe of my boot in a minute. I've come to throw myself on your mercy. I did a terrible thing, and I bit the hand that fed me. I'd better get a rabies shot, then. I deserve that. But you have to understand, I did it for the best. How'd you work that out? I shouldn't have to tell you. You've read the letters. I don't know what you mean. Oh, come on. They're hardly brimming with emotion. My Zach isn't given over to flowery language and what have you. Yeah, but he could have at least said that he missed you and the kids. I think you have said enough. A bit near the mark. Not even close! <laughs> no, 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 no. Robert! Hey, Donna. Can't stop. Well, wait a minute. I've not seen you all day. I thought you might have called for me. Well, I've been busy. Well, are you busy on Friday? I think so. What have you got in mind? I thought we could go out somewhere. Well, why go out when we have so much fun at home? It's called going out, Robert, not stopping in. All right, well, I'll see what I can do. Let's be off. Wait a minute, where are you going? Can I come? Well, I said I'd take Elaine for a drive. OK, well, we'll drop her off afterwards so we can be on our own. Listen, Elaine's got a test coming up and she needs to concentrate. I don't think you should come. You mean you want to concentrate on her? Don't do this. Well, what am I supposed to think? Well, she's a mate, all right? Well, you won't mind me being there, then, will you? Get in. Girlfriend! Oh, now! I knew it! Where is he? Who? Shadrach the flower thief! He's stolen them! From the church, no less! Do you know, I wouldn't have believed it possible for that man to stoop any lower. Please, Ashley, just take them back. I don't want anything here to remind me of him or what he's done. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have shouted at you. Oh, that's all right. No, 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 it isn't. Uh, I, I should have been more sensitive. I understand you've had a rough day. Oh, yeah. Do you know, I think this has been the worst day I've had since Zach left, and that's saying something. Perhaps some tea and sympathy are in order. Uh, no, no. I'll, I'll make it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, she's a fast cat, that one. <laughs> now she's just being friendly. Look, that's not what I'd call it. Well, that was interesting. Oh, yeah? I've just asked Gervais to accompany me to the tea dance tomorrow. Nothing interesting so far. He rang on a minute and he said yes. Fascinating. Edna! But the interesting thing is, he said he'd come for the tea and biscuits, but he won't dance. No, he won't dance. Mind you, he, um did waive his rules once. Who for? It was me, actually. Oh, I knew you'd hidden depths under that hat, Edna. Don't be ridiculous. So shall I come down up to this do or what? Well, we do try to maintain a certain standard. Yeah, no minis or boob tubes. <laughs> well, I must say, the more time I spend in this place, the more I like it. It's nice to have somewhere with um, a bit of something going on. You make it sound like a holiday camp. You know, we don't 
don't need the likes of you turning our village into some sort of three-ring circus for your amusement. Oh, Edna. I mean, she's hardly suggesting that we change the name of the village to Sodom and Gomorrah. Yet. I don't want poetry. I just want him to say he loves me and he's coming home. I feel like my life's been put on hold till he gets back. And now, I don't know if he's going to turn up again. And if he doesn't, have you thought about how you'd cope? <sighs> I've thought about nothing else. <sighs> oh, it seems that nothing's settled, nothing's permanent for me anymore. And while I'm waiting, my life is passing me by. Oh, that's a shame. You're the last person who should miss out on what life has to offer. You're such fun, usually. Oh, that's very kind of you. It's the truth. <laughs> well, what's the church got to say about all this? Uh, well, the official line is that you should wait seven years after your spouse has gone walkabout before you even think about moving on. Seven years? I don't want to feel like this for seven years. Which is why, for once, I think the church is wrong. You mean... You think I should get on with my life? I don't think anyone would object to you getting out and having some company. I certainly don't. Thanks. I've just got to make a call. Would you like me to go? Oh, no. As you say, it's time I got on with things and there's no time like the present. You mean now? Why not? Hello, Brian. Lisa here. Um. I was just wondering if that offer of dinner still stands, cos uh, I couldn't half do with going out for an evening. <laughs>